Apple AirPods review, $159 AirPods that ship eventually. Apple's AirPods, which having been announced half a year ago can no longer be considered new, are starting to make it into the hands of average consumers. Apple formally made these available on the 13th of December. Essentially missing the holidays, the trouble appeared to stem from Apple's efforts to chart a new path for wireless headphones, according to a source of the Wall Street Journal. With each earbud, or AirPod, able to function individually as a standalone headset, there was much more wireless functionality that needed to be crammed into the tiny earphones than your typical set of wireless buds. Regardless of the reason behind the delay, it was undoubtedly a missed opportunity for the Cupertino, California-based tech giant. That being said, it's impossible to say with certainty how much of the post-holiday shortages are due to high demand versus low supply. Tech coverage and consumer online queries regarding Apple's wireless earbuds have both fallen off a cliff, which points to supply being the culprit. Your correspondent ordered a pair in late December, and they didn't arrive until mid-February. American retailer and Apple-authorized reseller Best Buy, for instance, lists the AirPods as back-ordered until May. When they finally arrived, Apple's AirPods were decidedly underwhelming. The magic of the pairing process was, well, magical. Beyond the initial setup, however, things took a sour turn. Noise isolation was non-existent, battery life was middling, and sound quality indistinguishable from the $30 earpods that ship with every iPhone. The W1 wireless chip, which has been covered previously on D&JM, is the secret sauce to the AirPod entree. Sadly, what the consumer is left with is an overpriced meal. The only silver lining to this consumer's experience with the Apple AirPods was that your correspondent was able to hawk them on eBay for a sizable profit, as the aftermarket for this device is quite generous thanks to the aforementioned shortages. This modest publication's web hosting is paid for until 2021 thanks to the very public misstep of the iPhone producer. This article was originally featured on our website on March 16th. Click the link in the description to read it in full. Now a rating out of 10 for the Apple AirPods was a 6, with positives being that each AirPod can be used individually and that they come with a rechargeable carrying case. The three biggest downsides, however, were that they are expensive, they have poor battery life, and are widely unavailable. Davis and the Jake Man is a technology news website where we discuss subjects of note in the IT industry. This has been an article read aloud in a series of spoken articles handpicked from the best must-read or listen discussions on D and the JM.